Hello everyone. We are going to talk about a very controversial issue, which is the corneal cross-linking as a treatment of keratoconus in pediatric patients. These are my financial disclosures. The purpose of this study is to evaluate the safety and efficacy of a corneal cross-linking as a treatment for progressive keratoconus in pediatric patients. This is a retrospective case control series of 52 eyes in 50 patients aged 2 to 17 years old. All of them after 6 months of observation with topographic evidence of progressive ectasia, all eyes received cross-linking. The corneal cross-linking was performed with the IROC 1000 and the IROC 2000 equipments, removing the epithelium and complying with the Dresden protocol. All patients have a minimum of five years follow-up and a maximum of 10. With refractive measurements, visual acuity, pachymetries and serial topographies. At one month, three months, six and 12, and after one year every six months for a minimum of 60 months. In all follow-up visits, the maximum keratometry values improved significantly. Mean changes at five years, two diopters. The average keratometry, uncorrected and corrected distance visual accuracy improved in all follow-up visits, although not always, with the level of statistical significance. Nine eyes keratoconus had progressed in terms of increased keratometry at the last follow-up visit despite cross-linking treatment. That means an 18% of the patients. And this is a very special case. This is the youngest keratoconus patients we have ever seen. It was a patient with two and a half years old. He came in December 2013. That was his refraction with a family history of father with keratoconus wearing gas permeable contact lenses. We did a cross-linking on this patient. Three years later, this was his refraction. And we can see up the topography when the patient came and the topography three years later. And he has been in follow-up for six years now. This was his topography last year in January with a very good potential of vision. As a conclusion, the cross-linking appears to be safe and effective in the treatment of childhood keratoconus, achieving stable long-term results up to at least five years. Given the typical progression of keratoconus, Observing pediatric patients, cross-linking should be considered as an important part of the treatment. Thank you very much.